Hi, and welcome to the Graphisoft EcoDesigner Star Energy Efficient Building Design video series. This movie is entitled Whole Building Energy Efficiency Optimization, and it presents how to define building systems that fit the project's architectural design to enable fuel consumption, fuel cost, carbon footprint, primary energy, and performance rating calculations. The steps presented and explained below can be implemented for your design projects as well. First, we add building systems to the baseline project. Please watch the other movie clips in this series to find out more about how to create a baseline building. We continue by applying the project-specific low-energy building system solution set, as well as the project-specific renewable energy solution set to the design project. Finally, we run the energy simulation and performance rating mode to evaluate the designed project's energy performance and compare it with the baseline building's energy performance. Let's start by determining the necessary system sizes for the baseline building. Here is the evaluation report we produced previously about the baseline building's energy performance. This report was created for the purpose of building system sizing. Therefore, all systems were set to not yet specified for this simulation run. Please remember that a mediocre quality building shell, thermal insulation, structural details, transparent surfaces, etc., has been specified for the baseline project. This is reflected in the results of the energy evaluation. The heat transfer coefficients of this baseline design are not particularly good, and a large heat loss via transmission has a strong negative impact on the overall energy consumption. Furthermore, the baseline design's windows have no shading devices, which results in huge solar gains during the hot season. This has to be counterbalanced by cooling, further increasing the overall energy consumption of the baseline design. The purpose of evaluating the baseline design with all systems set to not yet specified is to obtain the annual load and peak load data necessary for baseline building system sizing. The HVAC design data chapter of the baseline design's energy performance evaluation report provides the crucial information about both annual and hourly peak heating and cooling demands of the baseline building. The minimum and maximum internal temperatures are also displayed in the HVAC design data chapter for each thermal block. This is important information as well, because it shows whether the energy model is valid throughout the entire reference year for every thermal block, or there are times when the internal temperatures do not meet the thermal comfort requirements. The hourly peak heating and cooling load data is the most important information required to determine the appropriate size of the necessary building systems for each thermal block. Let's continue by adding building systems to the baseline building. Similarly to its building envelope, the baseline building systems also represent mediocre solutions typically used in the region where the project is located. District heating, conventional incandescent lighting, average quality water taps, natural and mechanical ventilation without a heat recovery option, electricity is supplied from the grid, no on-site renewable energy systems are defined for the baseline building. Let's switch to ARCHICAD to access the baseline design project. Display the thermal blocks page of the energy model review palette to visualize the building system types assigned to the thermal blocks. Please note the colored icons on the right side. These represent heating, cooling, and ventilation systems assigned to the respective thermal blocks. Let's display the building systems dialog to see what kind of heating and service hot water systems to assign to the thermal blocks of the baseline building. In other words, define the baseline building system parameters. Please note, you do not need in-depth knowledge about building systems to effectively use EcoDesigner STAR. You need to know only the very basics about the applied building systems most importantly their size and their type, to be able to define them and assign them to thermal blocks using the building systems dialog's basic view. In the final design phase, or when producing a building energy performance rating for official approval, however, it's advisable to consult your building system engineer. The simulation input data regarding system parameters can be validated and fine-tuned via the expert view of the building systems dialog. Various heating types can be assigned to one thermal block or to a number of thermal blocks simultaneously. Let's select District Heating for the baseline design. Use the Heating System Characteristics dialog to visualize or edit the default Central District Heating System profile offered by EcoDesigner STAR. 
We can also specify specific temperature values for the service hot water. The thermal blocks having a residential profile consume the majority of the service hot water. This is necessary for washing, cooking, and cleaning in the households. Use the Occupancy panel on the Operation Profiles dialog to review and edit the service hot water load specified for the residential profile. In this example, a relatively high 100 liters per day per capita value is specified. High service consumption increases wastewater production as well. Let's proceed and review the cooling systems of the baseline design. There are local cooling machines assigned to most thermal blocks. Similarly to the heating systems, these cooling systems can also be set up in a very simple way using the Building Systems Dialog's basic view. The settings discussed below, other than the cooling system capacity and characteristics, are advanced settings, accessible only via the Building Systems Dialog's expert view. They are discussed in this demo movie to prove that even the expert level settings of EcoDesigner Star are easy to understand for architects. The required cooling capacities are copied from the previously presented HVA design data table of the Baseline Building's Energy Demand Calculation Report. The free cooling limit is an external air temperature limit. If the external air temperature drops below this limit value, then the external air is used directly to cool the building. No cooling mechanism is applied in this case to alter the temperature of the external air. Circulation pump electricity demand is the peak energy demand of the pump that circulates the refrigerant in the cooling circuit. The maximum allowed relative humidity is a limit value that is used as a set point during the hourly energy simulation. If the indoor air's relative humidity increases beyond this threshold, the cooling machine turns off to avoid condensation. Use the Cooling System Characteristics dialog to visualize or edit the default local cooling system profile offered by EcoDesigner Star. Open the cooling system settings of the retail operation profile for an example. Please note that this thermal block requires the largest cooling capacity. Let's review the settings of the ventilation system assigned to the thermal block with an office operation profile. Use the Time Scheduled Ventilation Settings chapter of the Building Systems Dialog in Expert View if you wish to modify the default Time Scheduled Mechanical Ventilation Systems parameters. Details such as supply and exhaust fan pressures and efficiencies can be altered and preheating and precooling parameters can be specified. Note that it is also possible to model more advanced ventilation systems than the ones used in this baseline building example. Use the Heat Recovery, Recirculation, or Airflow Reduction dialogs to specify more advanced mechanical ventilation units. Let's see how to specify the schedule and characteristics of artificial lighting. Lighting is a component of the internal heat gain defined on the Daily Profile Editor panel of the Operation Profiles dialog. In the Internal Heat Gain chapter of this panel, we can simply select the light fixture type used to illuminate the thermal block. Alternatively, it is also possible to define the lighting power density, or LPD, numerically. Conventional incandescent light fixtures are selected for the baseline building. This lamp type is the least efficient. Its operation produces significant heat in addition to visible light. Finally, let's check out the Energy Source Factors dialog where the different primary energy and CO2 emission factors are defined. The primary energy and carbon dioxide emission calculations are based on these values. Electrical power, for example, is produced from 70% coal and 30% nuclear facility in the region where the example project is located. This defines the carbon footprint and primary energy associated with electricity consumption. Energy sources, aka fuel types, are defined for each building system individually via the dedicated dialogues of the building systems panel while the fuel prices, as well as the currency, are specified in the Energy Costs dialog. After specifying all baseline systems for the baseline design, we save the building energy model as a baseline building reference file. This file format is indicated by the BAS file name extension. We will use this baseline building reference file later for the performance rating of the design project. Let's start the energy simulation of the baseline building with all systems included by clicking the button at the bottom right corner of the energy model review palette. 
Then, save the Building Energy Performance Evaluation Report as a PDF file. The next step of the whole building energy optimization process is to determine and apply the project-specific Low Energy Building System Solution Set and Renewable Energy System Solution Set on the design project. We start by reviewing the system sizing calculations carried out on the project version referenced as the designed building. Note that this project version is different from the baseline building project version. Please watch the Low Energy Demand Architectural Design movie clip from the Energy Efficient Building Design with EcoDesigner Star video series to find out more about the differences between the designed building and the baseline building project versions. The designed building's energy demand calculation results are displayed on the screen. The lower heat transfer coefficient values on the energy evaluation report reflect the benefits of the project-specific energy-efficient architectural solutions, such as the advanced envelope and detail construction, as well as the advanced windows. Due to solar shading, the solar heat gain is significantly less during the hot season, and therefore the cooling demand is also less compared to the baseline building. The HVAC Design Data Chapter of the Energy Performance Evaluation Report contains the initial input information necessary for the sizing of the building systems, the annual and hourly peak heating and cooling demands. The next step is to define the building systems for the design building's energy model. The workflow of how to select the most appropriate architectural low energy building solutions was discussed in the project specific low energy building solution set movie clip of this movie series. The workflow of how to select the project specific low energy building system solutions is quite similar to it. Review the designed building's energy demands. Investigate building energy optimization options. Execute sensitivity analysis. Determine the project-specific solution set. In the movie mentioned above, the content of this table shown on the screen is also discussed. It summarizes the results of an extensive study carried out by the International Energy Agency, Solar Heating and Cooling Program Task 40 Research Group. It presents the statistical data about the relevance of applied energy efficient building system solutions and renewable energy system solutions for the mixed cooling and heating climate where our example project is also located. Based on these statistics, or on other similar research data, the solutions that are potentially suitable for the example project can be selected. Whether it's worthwhile to apply them or not can then be decided by sensitivity analysis. Based on the sensitivity analysis results, the following project-specific low-energy building systems and renewable energy system solutions are applied on the example project. Energy-efficient lighting, water-saving taps, mechanical air heat recovery for the mechanical ventilation systems, and a photovoltaic system to produce electricity on-site. Note that due to the previously applied low-energy architectural design solutions, the designed building requires much lower capacity heating and cooling systems than the baseline building. Let's return to EcoDesigner STAR and see how the previously discussed building system solutions are implemented on the demo project. In this example file, the project-specific low energy building systems and renewable energy system solutions are already set up according to the previously presented list. Let's see how. Use the Thermal Blocks page of the Energy Model Review Palette to create and configure building systems and to add them to the thermal blocks. A central on-site heating system is specified for all those thermal blocks that require heating. Here you can see its characteristics and also the energy source, natural gas, that it consumes. We provided two additional smaller local backup gas boilers, one for the office and one for the retail thermal blocks. By using more advanced taps and household appliances, it's possible to reduce the service hot water load by 20% compared to the baseline building. Use the Operation Profiles dialog to set the service hot water load of the residential operational profile. Please note that the designed building project version's energy model contains less cooling machines than the baseline building because some of the apartments do not require mechanical cooling due to the effective solar shading discussed earlier. For the thermal blocks that do require mechanical cooling, for example the office, cooling systems with less capacity than the baseline projects are suitable. 
The mechanical ventilation systems, for example the retail thermal zones, are time-scheduled and equipped with modern air-to-air -air heat recovery modules. This means that the heat of the exhaust air is used to preheat the fresh air. Let's display the residential operation profile next and note that modern energy efficient LED lighting fixtures are used in the residential thermal blocks instead of the incandescent lamps. LED lights use less energy to provide the required level of artificial illumination since they produce much less heat than the incandescent lamps used to illuminate the baseline building's apartments. In order to produce electricity from a renewable source on site, a photovoltaic system is also defined for the designed building project version. The panels are located on the pitched roof surfaces facing the equator. Let's display the structures page of the energy model review palette and select the southern pitched roof in the list to determine the available space for the PV panels. You can see that its area is a bit more than 35 square meters or 375 square feet. The area and inclination of the installed polycrystalline photovoltaic panels correspond with the area and inclination of the equator facing pitched roof. After setting the properties of the designed building systems, let's proceed and start the energy simulation. Since the building energy model now contains every input parameter, it's possible to execute a complete building energy performance analysis, including hourly energy balance, fuel consumption, energy cost, carbon footprint, primary energy usage, on-site renewables, and performance rating. In order to enable the performance, the previously created external baseline building reference file must be used. Please view the Low Energy Demand Architectural Design video clip to find out more about how to create such a baseline building reference file. There are two different ways EcoDesigner Star can use the baseline building reference file. Straight up performance comparison with the design building's performance. The baseline building reference data is first automatically processed by the program according to the ASHRAE 90.1 standard, Lead Energy, and the resultant data is then used for energy performance comparison. Note the benefits and disadvantages of baseline building data handling, according to ASHRAE 90.1, will be discussed in this movie shortly. Once the analysis is completed, the Energy Performance Evaluation Report dialog appears. Here we can select the report chapters to be included in the Energy Performance Rating PDF document. Unlike in the case of energy calculations executed for earlier design phases, let's select all but one of the report chapters this time. Exclude only the HVAC design data chapter from the documentation because the example energy model's building systems are already defined while this chapter displays demand calculation results used for system sizing at an earlier design phase. The Energy Performance Rating PDF document should include the energy balance diagram of every thermal block and also all the internal temperature profiles for each thermal block for a typical day of each season. This evaluation report should also include the Environmental Impact and Renewable Energy Sources chapters and also the Performance Rating chapters. Let's save the evaluation report as a PDF document and also as an Excel spreadsheet. Even though processing the huge amount of data takes a few minutes, it's worthwhile to document hourly calculation output files as well as thermal block level analysis results at this phase of the design. Now it's time to review the results. The energy evaluation report of the baseline project is displayed on the left side of the screen. The report on the right side presents the energy evaluation report of the designed building. Let's compare the reports and draw the necessary conclusions by rating the energy efficiency of the designed building relative to the baseline building. The project key values display high-level information about the design's energy performance. Please note the huge reduction in the cooling and heating energy of the designed building. Both primary energy consumption and fuel cost are reduced by half compared to the baseline project. What's the reason behind the reduction of heating and cooling energy? As a result of the low energy building solutions, for example better thermal insulation and air tightness, the project energy balance displays a massive reduction in energy flows. The maximum supplied energy per week in the baseline project 
was over 7,900 kilowatt hours, while in the improved project, it's less than 4,100 kilowatt hours. The benefits of smaller building systems, heat recovery, and on site electricity production shows in the reduced carbon footprint. Let's display the energy consumption by targets diagrams for both design scenarios. Please note that the amount of the total required energy reduced. In the case of the baseline building on the left, the heating is provided by district heating. In the case of the designed building, a more efficient and sensitive reduced capacity heating system is used. The on-site central heating boiler is the main heat supplier with local backup systems installed where necessary. The result is reduced energy consumption and a reduced carbon footprint. The energy consumption by sources diagrams show a massive reduction in electricity demand. 40% of this demand can be satisfied with electricity produced by the PV panels on site. The environmental impact and renewable building systems summary evaluation report chapters highlight the benefits of the air-to-air -air heat recovery systems, the shading devices, the apartment's natural cooling, and the photovoltaic panels that use renewable solar energy to produce electricity. The project's specific combination of these systems and strategies greatly reduce fossil energy consumption and operation costs. The following chapters of the Designed Buildings Energy Evaluation Report can be called performance rating chapters because they contain data that evaluate the energy efficiency of the designed building relative to the baseline building. Baseline performance Baseline energy costs Performance rating table Energy consumptions and savings Use these chapters to compare the enhanced energy performance of the designed building with the mediocre energy performance of the baseline building and to document the benefits of low energy building design. The baseline building reference file concept is discussed in an earlier part of this movie clip. In order to understand the baseline performance chapter's content, we must revisit the baseline building reference file concept and the two ways how EcoDesigner Star can process such a file. Besides a straight-up comparison of the baseline building's energy performance with the designed building's energy performance, the program is also capable of automatic ASHRAE 90.1 lead energy baseline building reference data processing. This simply means that the program automatically rotates the baseline building by 90 degrees three times, reanalyzing the project after each rotation. Eventually, the four baseline building variations energy performance is averaged and the resultant data set is used for the performance rating of the designed building. According to ASHRAE, the baseline building performance data generated this way represents the average design solution better because it disregards differences in orientation caused by specific architectural solutions. EcoDesigner STAR's automatic baseline building processing functionality is also a great tool for checking the designed building's orientation, whether it is truly optimized, or perhaps a rotated layout with the thermal blocks facing different orientations would actually be more energy efficient. On the other hand, automatic ASHRAE 90.1 lead energy baseline building reference data processing requires five simulations, the designed building plus four baseline building versions, versus the single unrotated baseline building method that only requires two simulations, one for the designed building and another for the baseline building. The runtime of a performance rating analysis executed using the single baseline building method is therefore much shorter. The baseline performance chapter's zero degrees column displays the original unrotated baseline building's performance data, while the three additional columns contain the performance data of the rotated baseline building versions. The last column displays the calculated average values of the resultant baseline project. The baseline energy cost chapter lists the operation costs of each baseline building variation. Note that in this case of the example project, there are two rotated baseline building versions, 90 degrees and 270 degrees, that would cost less to operate than the building with the designed orientation. Unfortunately, site conditions, for example the adjacent building and street's position, determined the building orientation and the zoning for this example case. Therefore, the possibilities of further optimizing the position of thermal blocks and glazed openings are limited. 
The performance rating table displays and compares the proposed and baseline project's energy performance. The final column presents the achieved savings. Please note that the total annual energy used of the proposed design, aka designed building, is about half of the baseline designs, and this results in a 50% savings. Let's see the components of this massive difference in energy consumption. Almost 60% less energy is needed for heating the designed building. The cooling-related energy consumption difference is even more significant. Some of the flats do not require cooling systems at all due to the installed solar shading devices. Water-saving taps reduce the amount of energy consumed by the service hot water heating system by over 25%. The designed building consumes much less electricity due to efficient artificial lighting and the smaller auxiliary electricity demands of the proposed building systems, which are much smaller than the baseline buildings. Finally, let's display the energy consumptions and savings table. Electricity-related cost savings associated with the proposed building design is almost 75% compared to the mediocre solution represented by the baseline building. The designed building's overall energy use is 51% less and its energy costs are 60% less than the baseline buildings. Let's review and summarize the whole building energy efficiency optimization workflow. Start by adding building systems to the design baseline and saving the energy model in baseline building reference file format. Size the designed building systems based on the results of the previously executed energy demand calculation. Please watch the Low Energy Demand Architectural Design movie clip for more information regarding how to execute the energy demand calculation on the proposed building design. Use sensitivity analysis to determine the project-specific low energy building system and renewable energy system solution sets, then apply them to the proposed building's energy model. Assign the baseline building reference file to the designed building's energy model before executing the hourly dynamic energy simulation on it in performance rating mode. Review and document the designed building's energy performance rating results. No engineering skills are required to accurately model building systems with EcoDesigner STAR for fuel consumption, energy cost, carbon footprint, primary energy, and standard compliant performance rating calculations. The detailed energy evaluation report includes the energy balances and hourly internal temperatures of every thermal block, as well as the detailed performance rating output. EcoDesigner STAR is a next-generation dynamic energy simulation add-on to ARCHICAD that integrates standard compliant energy analysis with the BIM, allowing architects worldwide to conveniently design and document the energy performance of their projects, including low energy or even net zero energy buildings.